Hiya, loves. You all having a good night? Are you all having a good night? Good, because I'm about to make things a hell of a lot more exciting for you. Now, they've asked me to come on stage and say a few words because I'm doing a tight costume change, so let me introduce myself. My name is Martini. I get the name from my mother. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> and like her, I like to drink. Any time, any place, anywhere. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't done my pre-show warm-up. You guys can help me with that. When I point to you, you're going to count down from eight. You're going to count down from what number? We like to drink with Teeny, because Teeny is our mate. And when we drink with Teeny, she downs it down in... Eight, seven, six, five, four... Stop! I don't need eight seconds to down a bottle of gin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, I must say, it's ever so strange seeing so many little faces in the audience tonight. I never perform for kids. I have to keep the show family friendly. So that means no swearing. No flash of me knickers. And eh, uh, Claire love, I won't be needing those ping pong balls. <laughs> Mine's on the dress, not on the gutter. <laughs> I must say, ladies and gentlemen, you're all looking fabulous tonight. What do you think of my outfit? <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop. Carry on, carry on, carry on. <laughs> No woman in their right mind would ever turn down a compliment. Well, I know what you're all thinking. How does someone look so fabulous in polka dots? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll let you in on a little secret. I've been on a few diets this year for this show. Oh, yeah. Some of them have worked, some of them haven't. But ladies and gentlemen, anyone that's thinking of dieting, I've got a word of advice. If you're going to start one, it's always easier on the second day than the first. I mean, the first day you spend all your time and money buying your special fruit, and your special veg, and your special milk that's got to be low in dairy, high in protein, and passed through the foot of a chicken. <laughs> and with the second day, well, the second day you're off the diet, aren't you? So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Diets don't work. They don't. I mean, the only difference in my life is when I'm not on a diet, I tell you, last week for my dinner, I had a bag of chips, a battered sausage, and a Kit Kat chunky. And when I'm on a diet, I tell you, last week for my dinner, I accidentally had a bag of chips, a batter sausage, and a Kit Kat chunky. <laughs> I tried everything, ladies and gentlemen. I even got myself one of those personal trainers. I met him at the gym, and I didn't even pass the first test. He said, Martini, we're going to do an induction. I said, all right. He said, can you bend over and touch your toes? I said, I'm not a dog, love. Can I not wave at you instead? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, anyone that's thinking of dieting, this is gold dust, and this works wonders. If you want to lose weight, it's guaranteed that if you eat your dinner naked, in, preferably in front of a mirror, depends on where you are, you will lose weight. I mean, it might be a bit embarrassing when the restaurant kicks you out. <laughs> but at least you don't have to pay for it, so win a win a chicken dinner, if you ask me. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Eating healthy is so expensive. I used to get me fruit and veg from Tesco until I got banned. I was caught nicking the free fruit at the beginning of the toast store. Now, I know it's for kids, but look, I've got bills to pay, implants, you know. It's not cheap looking like me, you know. But now I have to get me fruit and veg from Lidl. It's just not the same. Have any of you ever shopped in Lidl? I'll tell you what, if you haven't, it's an experience you will never forget. There you are at the counter. You put it all on the till, the whole shop, separated by one of those barriers before the person in front of you. And the minute your checkout staff reaches to take your barrier, you have got to sprint across the car park and open your car boot, at which point your shopping is being lashed through the car park and into the boot of your car. It's like, beep, woof, there's your bread. Beep, woof. There's your bananas. Beep. Woof, there's your drill. <laughs> it's absolutely mental, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. But I know I might be looking fabulous, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm not feeling too fabulous. 
I went out with the girls last night. I know I shouldn't have done, I know it's my own fault. But uh, I was woke up dead early this morning. Now, I'm not a morning person as it is, but I was literally dragged out of the bed I was in at 3 a.m. And you know what? The staff at IKEA didn't even give me a meatball on the way out. <laughs> but I got arrested and they put me inside this cop car. Now there's me trying to get in this cop car. Finally get in and he goes, where are you going to, love? I said, Tidworth. He said, are you army? I said, no, love, I'm Martini. <laughs> Amy works on self-service in Tesco. He said, no, are you army? I said, well, I think I'm more leggy. My arms are a bit like a T-Rex. <laughs> and he said, no, are you in the army? I said, do I look like I'm in the army? And he goes, so if you're not in the army, why are you in Tidworth? I said, you know what, love? I ask myself the same question every day. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Martini.